Hi folks, Mikey Boy here, and we're back with Zombie Society Dead Detective Graves and Secrets. I just want to pop to my office because it's not a, it's not a dead detective game without popping to the office and having a look around. What a nice day to be dead. I'm sure that's what he says every time, but I don't mind reiterating it. Uh, and yeah, it's all the same stuff. All the same. Yep, yep, it's all the same stuff. Really, it's actually kind of very unnecessary to be here, but it brings back good memories. So, we should now go to Gulp's bookstore. And I'm assuming uh, that Gulpy is going to help us translate the brain language, because he looks like a bit of a bookworm. Books, books, glorious books. These books have the weirdest titles. Those are the books written by brains for brains. Only trained zombies can read them. All right, go. well, we're heading over to see you about a book. Funnily enough, we're actually here for a reason. Oh, Gulp, how are you doing? Shh, this is a library. Wait, wait. you're that trigger-happy detective. Do I do whatever you want? Please don't shoot. I guess they had a run in before and I missed it. Gosh darn it. Oh, he's scared of me. Wait, no, I wanna... I guess I should show him the letter. There we go. I was wondering, maybe you're able to read what's written in this letter? Hmm, let me have a look at it. Yes, no doubt about it. The letter is written in the brain's language. Well, what does it say? Don't leave me hanging. Don't make me pull my gun out. Any mention of the stolen grave? Or of the related deed? Mm, nothing of the sort. I'm not an expert on the subject, but it certainly looks like a... Um, um, a love letter. Don't really know much about them. Never had one myself. Never written one, either. A love letter? What the brain is that? Uh, love is a feeling that only the brains know about. Even my knowledge about it is uh, quite uh, foggy there in the old, uh, in the old brain. What's left of it, at least? I see. Thanks. Okay, so we've got... Wait a minute. No, that can't be right. He can't have delivered a love letter to her, can he? He said he didn't like it. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub gave a suspicious letter. Oh, wait, it was from Wubba Lubba Dub Dub to one eye, who in turn delivered it to Princess Flynn. No proof of their guilt. That message might be Gasper's stolen deed. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's a love It's a love letter. Message to Princess Flynn is a love letter. Okay, we're still missing something. There's a missing piece of the puzzle down here. And I don't know how to find it. Maybe if we go back somewhere else and talk to some of the people, we can dig out a little bit more information about something. Who's got any more info? Uh, I guess he won't really care about any of the other stuff, right? I guess all there is to do is to try and figure out what to do. Hmm, I have at least one suspect. Let's see if I can come up with a theory around him. Dumb. Well, Princess Fbn's got something to do with the whole thing, right? Surely. I mean, it can't be a quinky dink, can it? Princess Fbn. But. Princess Fbn ordered to steal Gasper's grave for her own purposes? I mean, maybe it wasn't. Maybe, okay, I'm trying to think of this. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub has a crush on the princess, right? So the princess wouldn't have, it's something to do with Wubba Lubba, right? Mm, I think I've come up with a theory. No, 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 no. Jeez, um. Oh gosh, I mean, I don't know here. Ah, my brain. I think Gasper's too... 
I think Gasper's too stupid and forgetful to be purposefully doing what he did. I mean, doing it. Um, Cackle, it just seems suspicious the deeds are going missing. I think Cackle did it. I think Cackle was three links there. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think it is Cackle, I think. Alright, let's go for it. This is it. I think I've solved the case. I've got a habit of getting it wrong lately in the last couple of... Um... Miss Cackle, I'm here to inform you that I've solved the case of the stolen grave. Ah, uh, ah, uh -huh. I, I mean, that's good and all, but uh, why are you telling that to me? Well, that's because you're the culprit, Miss Cackle. W what You're accusing me of being guilty? Of what, exactly? You're guilty of counterfeiting deeds and selling them to gibberish. Thanks to your job, you had access to all the deeds you wanted. When you saw a weak potential victim, you made the deeds to their graves disappear. And then you sold the grave as if it had no original owner. I'm sure Gasper wasn't your first victim. Am I right? W wait. It didn't go like that. You, you have no proof. Tell that to the judge. In the meanwhile, you're under arrest. Although I'm not a police officer, so you're going to have to go and turn yourself in, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, wait, oh, there they are. Awesome. Oh, okay. Oh, 17 of, wait, 29? Is that 17 of 29? Oh. Oh, I got the wrong ending. It wasn't cackle. Which is why I only got 17. So what is the right ending, then? Oh. <sighs> Early 2019, that's when the full game's coming out. There we go. Faith here. Oh, I wanna... I didn't... Damn it, I need to figure out what really happened now. So I need to... Wait. I guess I'll have to retry and try and get the right deduction, won't I? But that means I have to go back to Gulp and get this. Wait, give me two seconds. We'll figure this one out. I wanna know what actually happened. There must be a, something I can... Uh, there must be something I can ask somebody who can give me an answer or something. Oh, he knows gibberish. He knows gibberish. We talk a lot when he... he, he it's like saying that someone knows how to speak gibberish. It's like when someone can speak gobbledygook, right? We talk a lot when he visits, too. Mainly about sports. He's a huge football fan. If you ever speak with him, never mention Guala. He hates that player. You could talk bad about him for hours. Oh, how handy is that? Let's go and talk to him about his least, let's go and talk to him about his favorite guy in the whole world, Koala. Let's do this. Duh, oh wait, how can I not? Oh, why did he tell me about being able to say something if I couldn't use it? Oh. So I went through everything again, and I was thinking, mm, uh, I still don't see why Princess Fbn would have just, you know, had deeds to graves stolen or anything weird like that. I've got a feeling that it might be Gasper. Maybe he's putting on the forgetful act. Maybe he let Bubble over Dub Dub go, and, you know. D mm. Let's try Gasper. And if we just change this one to this. Then we have got three, so mm, it seems wrong to me, but... Okay, let's try it. We're right next to the guy we're accusing. Let's do it. I think I might still be wrong, but that way it is one option, Princess Fabun. So, uh, have you solved the case? Can I get my grave back? Considering that guy disappeared, I think you can claim your grave back anyway. As for the case... I think I know what happened. I found you out, Gasper. It all makes sense. I know that you're too poor to want a grave for real. I know that you never communicated your address to the Hunters HQ. There never was a deed to your grave, Gasper, because you've never really owned it. Is that what you really think, Ma? That hurts. I thought we were friends. 
Besides, if he did do it, why would he come to me for help if he knew I was so good at figuring cases out? Don't worry. In the name of our old friendship, I will report you to the authorities. Tuh. Bah! For all this time, I thought you were a good detective. How wrong I was. So it seems like I was incorrect again. Wrong again. Okay. That leaves Princess Boon then. So I've got to go back again. Wow. Trust me to take it to the very last one to get it right. And I just a genius. Okay, fine. Let's let's change some of this around then. He's forgetful. Uh, his cackle might be lying. No proof he's in need of money. I'm still thinking that's where. Well, hmm. Maybe I can. Let's pick another suspect, Princess Bin. There's only two things that link Princess Bin to it, but I'm gonna have to try. If anything, at least it gets me close to Princess Bin. Let's go for it. I and if this is still wrong, I, I must need the other two clues. Okay, I suspect the guy that stole your grave is a friend of Princess Bin. Apparently, she used her influence to get your deed from the bank. Legally, or not. Unfortunately, I fear there's nothing we can do about it. The princess is above the law. Oh, I see. Well, at least I can go back to my grave. For now, in any case. Thank you for your work, Ma. You'll be properly rewarded. I didn't do much. To be honest, Casper, I don't feel like I... I didn't get your grave back for you. The guy that stole it just kind of wandered off. But heck, if you want to throw a few brains into the bargain, then hell, I'm up for it. I was still wrong. I need the last two clues, but I don't know how to get them. Oh, god damn, I'm such a moron. Look. Talk to Gwyn. Do, do you know anything about football? Gwyn, <laughs> what do you know about football? Um, I know there's a ball, or occasionally a, a player's head, and they kick it in a goal. I guess that's plenty. Do you think you could bring the subject up with gibberish? Oh, sure. I've got really good at distracting people. I shouldn't be saying this out too loud when he's standing right next to me, should I? <clears throat> Mr. Gibberish, I have this very weird feeling that you're a football fan. Why, yes, that's exactly right. How could you tell, my man? You have that air of someone who can really... Golo? Don't let me tell you something about Golo. Now I get the name, Golo. Ball, football, goal. This girl's defenders must know how to defend. I like this. This is the kind of stuff I waffle on about. Sucks a defender. What? I tell you, he's no good. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, you might be right and you might be wrong. You know, anyway, let's... A very famous player, I guess. Hmm, let's see. What do we have here? Looks like the deed to a grave. Weird part is that it's already compiled. But he hasn't sold it yet. Ooh, what's my new evidence? One of the deeds that was inside Gibberish's shop. The thing is, this is already compiled and signed. I'm gonna talk to him about it. Gibberish had some already compiled deeds in his shop. Wait, wait, wait. Where do you find those? Oh, is that what you want to say about it? <laughs> Later, sucker. Okay, can I talk to Cackle about this, do you think? Someone must know about it. Already compiled? In that case, they didn't come from this bag, or he compiled them later. I only sell him blank deeds. Kaka claims she's never seen gibberish's deeds before. So... Does that mean... Wait, let's... God damn it. The mix and match. Gibberish bragged about... Oh, okay, wait, what's this last one? I found some already compiled deeds inside gibberish's shop, which Cackle denies ever having in her bank. Deeds were waiting to be counterfeited. Oh. If they were waiting to be counterfeit, T 
should. Does that mean I've got, who's the new suspect, gibberish? <gasps> gibberish, the grave seller. I can't believe it took me so long to figure out how to get those last two clues. Gosh darn it, I never talked to Gavin, that's a problem. He's meant to be my bloody partner, and I never talked to him. Well, that's my answer, that, that'll teach me a lesson. So if gibberish is the seller, I have to flip some, I have to flip the script a bit. I have to say, Cackle's favoritism is unjustified, and uh, Cackle's in the right position. So that means that gibberish and Cackle are working together, right? That's gotta be it. Okay. Ah. Miss Cackle, I'm here to inform you that I've solved the case of the stolen grape. Okay, so the same thing. Just you're the culprit. Wait, hang on a second. This is the same, except I've got gibberish as backup evidence this time. How does criminal conspiracy sound to you? You're guilty of illegally selling to gibberish the deeds to graves already owned by poor, helpless zombies. Gibberish then counterfeited the deeds and sold them again as if the graves didn't already have a rightful owner. And that's exactly how Wubble of a Dub Dub got that grave. Ain't that right? Partner in crime. Cackle! Don't even answer to this wild accusation! This guy has no proof! He's nothing but a charlatan! Is that because I snuck into your store? Did, did you get upset? Why do you keep your foot... Why why do you keep your store locked? What's the point of having a store if people can't go in it? Ah, but I do have proof. You see, I snuck into your shop and I found this deed to a grave. Already compiled. How could the document be already compiled if you hadn't sold the grave yet? Well, that's easy, ain't it? Because that was an already compiled deed of a grave that only Cackle could give you and that you intended to counterfeit. I... I want a lawyer! I'm sure you can afford one, after all the illegal selling you've been doing, but I don't know if those funds may be confiscated. Officer, arrest these zombies. Yay! Finally! Hooray! My word, that took far more effort than I expected it to. Oh boy! See, it's, it's another good example of this little point-and-click series being so good. You've got to try every little thing. It took me so long to realise that Gavin was the driving force behind distracting um, gibberish. And I don't know why it took me so long to realise that, because what would I do? Talk to him about the guy he doesn't like, and then expect him to rant at nobody in particular while I snuck into the shop? Oh, boy. Well, we did it. Finally did it. Oh, it was so good. I'm really looking forward to the full game coming out next year. And it says four new mysteries that hasn't been seen before. So I'm wondering the full game might have some of these mini games incorporated as part of the overall game, which will make things interesting. I've got some story to catch up on because I think I missed a couple of the mist uh, couple of the uh, cases. Um, but do you, I think you, you should all go and check out all of them for yourselves. Um, just look up Interact Tales on Newgrounds and you will find all of the games on there. Every single one of them, which I should have done before diving into this new one. Lesson learned. I'm not the best at solving mysteries. Solving mysteries of games I didn't see yet. God damn it. Alright, thanks to Interact Tales for another fantastic Zombie Society Dead Detective game. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to want the like button if you enjoyed another cracked case. And don't forget to want the subscribe button too if you want to stay up to date with my other shenanigans. I've been Mikey Bly and I hope you... Well, have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night, and I'll see you all next time around. Bye for now.